Hey guys, thank you for joining me today. I really, I really appreciate it. Um, first of all, let me just say, um, first of all, let me pray. Father, I thank you for what you're about to do and who you're about to do, who you're about to do it through. And I thank you, Lord Jesus, for just bringing us all to this place, whether we are at our computers, whether we are on our laptops, tablets, whatever, or wherever we are, and wherever we find ourselves, God, today, I know today you have the answer. For each and every one of us, whether it be through a sermon like mine or whether it be through a friend or even a foe, God, we know your answers come in all kinds of ways, God. Let us be open to how you want want to answer, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, help us. Teach us. And today, God, speak to me and speak through me. In the name of Jesus, speak to us something different all at the same time. Go into the bowels of our situations, whatever they may be, happy, challenging, whatever they may be, and change our minds, change our hearts, change our souls. Renew our spirits. Let us know that you are there. In the name of Jesus, amen. Oh, hey guys. First of all, let me say thank you for all the wonderful birthday wishes. I really, really, really appreciate it. I love all all of you who who took the time yesterday to wish me happy birthday and to get to 40 was not without its challenges its breaks its bumps but the main thing is i'm still here and i'm stronger with god than ever before And I'm so grateful to all of you who have followed my ministry for the past 14 years. I'm so grateful to all of you who have sent messages, who have encouraged me, who have prayed for me. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And today, my sermon title is called Cants and Keys. Cants and Keys. Um, I, I'm such an ideas person. I really am. And because I'm such an ideas person, I, when I, Uh, When I love somebody and I see something, especially creative, I may get an idea for them, whether it be an author or whether it be a, a band or singer or a preacher or whatever. I begin to see things beyond um what they're doing and every time i get one of these ideas i tend to send it to the person i either make a video about it or send an email i've been i've been like this for years sometimes The idea includes me, and sometimes it doesn't include me. 
Um, I think I think one of the gifts God gave me is the gift of vid extraordinary vision, not only for myself, but for um, creatively those I support, whatever. So I've done this over the years. I've made, I've. I've made videos for authors and videos for band, bands and wrote letters to pastors and all of that. Sometimes the visit includes my partnership and sometimes it doesn't. So this week I wrote a letter to a very famous author giving her an idea because I was watching something and in true God and Rachel fashion, he started to show me an idea connected not to what I was watching, but to an author that I read connected in partnership with what I was watching. So as usual, as usual, I uh, created a video with the idea and the partnership and sent the email and sent whatever and sent the video. Um, but um, I have two per Personally, I have two email addresses. I have one email address, address that I've had for over 15, 16 years, and one email address that I've had for about 10 years. I think it's about 10 years. And one email provider is slightly better than the other. So my first email um, was my main email that I sent this author ma mail to. But when I went to upload the video I created explaining the project more, it wouldn't upload because this provider, when it comes to sending long videos, um, they're frankly not good at all. I'm not going to say wh who they are, but everyone knows this provider. They're okay if you want to send the basic email, but they're not so okay if you want to send longer videos and whatever. This other provider is much better at sending longer videos. So I sent a written email to this person with, with the idea. And when I went to upload the video, it, it uploaded slowly. And in my experience, I could tell, uh-oh, it's not going to upload properly. So I, I told her a bit about the idea, but because I couldn't upload the video, I said, hold on, I've got to send the video to you at a different address because the video that I created to tell you about the idea um, isn't working. So I sent her the video from the different address and I also sent her the what I was watching um, the 
the the the YouTube clips that I was watching. And in the video, I explained the project. I explained who I was. I explained, um, you know, what I was seeing. And I sent it off. And when I sent off that third and final email, um, I got an answer from the first email that said, sorry, but I don't have uh, connections there. Um, but if you pitch it, you know, you know, whatever. And I said, what does that mean? And the Lord stopped me and said, oh, she didn't see the other email. She didn't see um, the email that you sent from your other address with the video. And uh, she didn't see the links. So she only saw that one. And when, when she saw that one, she's like, oh, I don't have any connections with him. Uh, and the Lord said, you know, she said, he said, don't worry about responding because she hasn't seen everything yet. She hasn't seen the video. Because remember, that was with a different address and you just sent it two minutes ago. She hasn't seen the video clips that you sent. He said, the Lord said, don't worry about it. And at that time, the Lord said, every cant has a key. And I said, he, I said, what do you mean? He said, every cant, the moment you say I can't, every cant has a key. You just need to find the key. And I said, okay, he said, okay, take this author. She's, she's, and he began to explain it to me like this. He said, she may, she doesn't know the person you're talking about her getting into partnership with, but she has the names and has connections that if she wanted to, her name attached with New York Times bestselling author with a heck of a lot of books on the New York Times bestsellers list can open the door. If she, she may not know him right now, but with her connections, if she put a call out to say she was looking for him, that would be the key. And I said, oh. And I said, he said, whenever you say, I can't, there is a key that, that can be found to unlock whatever you need. He said, when you say, I can't do this or whatever, it's not that you can't. It's just that you need to find the key. So when she saw your first email, she probably thought, well, I don't know this person, so we're not going. I, there's no way I can help. But not thinking of the... The key being her New York Times best-selling name. So he said, every cant has a key. And sometimes all you need to do is find the key. And he, God began to explain to me this. He said, sometimes there are physical keys. Sometimes it's an emotional key. Sometimes it's a spiritual key. The keys are 
are different. Sometimes it's all three. You just need to find which one it is to unlock it. So some of you are looking for physical keys to unlock something, a dream, a vision, or whatever. You're going here and there and everywhere, and it's still not happening. But sometimes the key you're looking for is a spiritual key. Sometimes the Lord will say, I need you to go on fasting to un to starve your to starve your body so you can unlock your spirit. Or sometimes I need you to read your Bible or read this one verse. And this one verse through the revelation will hold the key. And sometimes I need you to, you know, he'll give you different keys for different things. Sometimes it's a physical key, you know. He'll, he'll say, I need you to send this email. Or, or sometimes, or most times in my experience, he won't say it, but you'll feel it. You'll feel compelled to send this email. You'll be compelled to pick up the phone. You'll be compelled to, you know, go see this person uh, and discuss your um, idea or something. Sometimes that is the key. Sometimes it's an emotional key. Sometimes he'll say you're too... You're too fragmented right now. You need to get your, I need to help you get together. So your key is counseling. Your key is getting yourself right, getting your sleep right, getting your uh, weight under control. And all these physical things are having a spiritual manifestation because everything physical everything spiritual most things that are spiritual have a physical manifestation so um so um what i mean is if you're an over eater or an under eater you might you may well be using food to anesthetize your pain, either over or under. Under, So your weight is not about food. Your weight is actually about the molestation when you're 12, when you were 12. So that's why for you, Counseling may be your key, is your key, you know. Um, and and every can't has a key. So when you say the word can't, there's a key to unlock what you think you can't. So you just have to ask the Lord, what is the key? And some and most times, the key is not. Easy. The key is something that you've got to work for and work hard for. Sometimes the key is easy, but most times the key is not. And and you just need to work with God to find your key. Every can't has a key. So there's no there's no such thing as I can't. But you you just have to find the key. And finding the key is not easy. We, we think it's going to be easy, but oftentimes it isn't. It takes emotional energy, physical energy, spiritual energy. And it just takes the key. So wh what you have to say instead of I can't. What is the key 
Lord, to unlock this thing? Is it an emotional key, a spiritual key, a physical key? What is the key? Or sometimes the key to unlock things is just to be still, is just to wait, is just to wait on God. That can be a key too. Because sometimes um, when people are impatient and they just want to go, 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 the key to unlock your destiny could be to wait. Wait on God. Because you're not used to waiting on anything, but that could be the key. And for some of you, the key could be to go. The key could be to do, because all your life you've been, oh, I'm going to wait on God, I'm going to wait on God. But the key to unlock your uh, destiny or what God wants to accomplish through you is to go. So it's not the I can't. It's the question should be, Lord, what is the key to unlock this? It's like, it's like when she heard of my my idea, she said, "Oh, I don't have connections there, but if you pitch it, we, I'd be, if you pitch it, I'd be like, um, I'd be open to it." So. I pitched it. Now I haven't been I I didn't hear back from her yet, so um so I don't know, but the Lord said every cat has a key. So, so the Lord wants me to ask, what is your key today? What is your can't? And then what is your key? Because sometimes your can't is hidden. And you're kind of, uh, you're kind of living under a smoke screen. And when anybody brings up the idea you really feel you can't but you don't say that because you know people will um post you lovely yes you can or whatever and you say yes i can but you really feel that you can't so you have to identify your can't what's stopping you what can't you do and then you have to um, the Lord said, after you identified clearly what you think you can't do, say, okay, but what is the key? What is the key? A lot of people say, don't talk about what you can't do, say you can, and then that's it. But the Lord's saying something different today. He's saying, identify your can't. Don't live in it. I'll say that again. Identify your can't. But don't live in it. You know, a lot of people live in the, I can't do this, I can't do that. It it doesn't... It's not easy, but you have to identify your kid. Like, you have to say what it is, but you don't wallow or keep rehearsing your kid. A lot of people just keep rehearsing your kid. I can't do this because of this. I, I, or I would do this, but I can't do this because of this. I can't do this. Because of what? I can't do this because of what? 
I can't do this because of this. But he says you have to identify your your can't so that you can overcome it. Because you can't overcome something that you haven't identified. What is the root of your can't? Because every can't has a root. Why don't you, why don't, don't you think you can't? Why do you think you can't? Identify the root, identify your can't, and then identify your root, and then identify your key to unlock the thing you thing you can't do. Is it an emotional key? Is it a physical key? Is it a spiritual key? Is it a financial key? What is it? Because a a lot of our cans are rooted in our early lives. Like a lot of us have been have been have been predisposed to I can't because we weren't told that we could in our early lives or maybe we tried and we failed. So we said uh, no, or it didn't work out the way we wanted. So we have to identify our cans, identify the root in those cans, and then identify the keys to unlock what we think we can't do. Every can't has a key. And that's what... Ah, uh, the Lord is really saying today. He's saying every can't has a key. What's the can't? What's the root of it? And what's the key to unlocking that can't? I I'm just so grateful about what the Lord is teaching today. I think. It's so wonderful because everybody says I can't, but but yes, you can. All you need to do is find the key to unlock what you think you can't do. Is the key a mental key? Is the key a biblical key? Is the key an emotional key? Is the key something? Something that God has to do. Is the key a healing key? Is the key a counseling key? And the Lord wants to unlock and uproot some can'ts today. He wants to give you keys to your can'ts. And all for every situation, every person, it's different. And you have to ask the Lord, what's the key? To unlock this camp. To unlock this camp. Do I need to raise raise my God esteem through your word? Uh, we talk a lot about self, self-esteem in society. I think it is more God esteem. Because if you begin to think of yourself the way God, God sees you, your self-worth, self-esteem will raise. So maybe, so maybe that's a key that he wants you to unlock. Every can't has a key. Every can't has a key. And I believe today God's unlocking some cans, some cans that have been rooting, rooted in you from childhood, he's unlocking today. Some cans that have has been unroot, have been in you since a teenager, 
is unlocking today. Unlock our cans, Lord God. Unlock our cans and raise up a generation with keys to their cans, with keys to their nose, with keys to their destinies. Unlock and unfurl your presence in our lives. Unfurl your destiny in our lives. Unfail, unfurl every, every situation, every foul spirit who's been with us from childhood, endangering our minds, every voice that is not of you by the power of the Holy Spirit, God. I cancel it in the name of Jesus. You can. I just, you just need to find the key to unlock that can't. In the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, I declare can'ts are being unlocked. And destinies are being discovered. Ira babushi atabashi, rato babushi atabashi, rato babushi ata. Ita babushi atabashi. Cans are being being dismantled and key, and keys are being found to unlock long dead and buried dreams. Young man, you thought that dream was unlocked, was locked up, never to be seen again. But today, God is is giving you the key to that to that camp. Young woman, you thought that dream was long dead because you you went to school school for it and you failed and you couldn't start the business. You couldn't get the loan. God is giving you the key to that can't. And today, he's unlocking you. He's unfurling you. He's unburdening you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I praise you, Lord, for what you're doing. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I bless you. I bless you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, guys. I'll see you next week. Have a wonderful day. Thank you so much. Bye.